I want to kiss him so bad, bro. Spit in my mouth, drill sergeant. Drill sergeants are known for being loud and training soldiers, the future fighting force. So let's see how drill sergeants are made in this drill sergeant boot camp video. Let me know down below in the comments who you think has the best drill sergeants, drill instructors. You know what I'm talking about. Which branch has the best? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's go and send it. I almost want to call my buddy Far and be like, yo, what's the like? Oh, wait, here. You know what? Let, let's call him and see if he'll pick up. I really hope he doesn't say no crazy shit right from the get. What's up, brother? Really quick, just so you know, a lot of people are listening right now. But I had a here we go. <laughs> We're watching a boot camp video on how army drill sergeants are trained. And you were a drill sergeant. So what is like the coolest and like the most dog shit thing you learned? The most dog shit I learned was all the manuals. Yeah, that you had to memorize and to be able to recite verbatim or you get docked. And then if you fail a module, get rolled into the next class. It's just a shit show, dude. <laughs> Okay. What is the best part about being a drill sergeant? Honestly. Molding these individuals that come in and breaking their individualism and then rebuilding them into what the army needs. And then just seeing that growth professionally and, and like personally in individuals is, a, is pretty cool. That was hands down best part about being a drill sergeant. Everything else was a shit show. Okay, fair enough. I was curious. I was like, it's either you're either going to say that because I know you love developing great soldiers or you were just going to bust out the dude, f***ing these dudes up, these pieces of shit. You know when the, the, the little shenanigans I, I went through uh, when I was on the trail? Yeah. Definitely not the same anymore, man, like when you and I were privates coming through. What has stayed the same is holding individuals and building young, you know, I mean, their kids, you know, most of them are 18, 15 years old. Yeah. Turn it into f***ing war fighters. Mm. I appreciate you, girl. I love you, my dude. I love you, bro. Oh. Love that guy! There we go. Drill Sergeant's point of view. The best thing is taking individuals and making them become soldiers. Future killers, bitch. And the dog shit part is the field manuals. But let's see what insiders got for us today, okay? I want to kiss him so bad, bro. Spit in my mouth, Drill Sergeant! If you've ever been to basic and you've had a, a Drill Sergeant in your face like this, let me know in the comments if you've had just spit all over your face, bro. You legit might as well just go like this and just take it in the mouth, bro, because it's going to get in there. Like, the worst part is when you're standing there and they're like, wah, 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 and then all you feel is like the the spit getting on your lips and you're like, this is gay, bro. I hate this shit. We're going to win everything the whole cycle. <clears throat> you still stay humble. Look at how more right? reserved it's yeah, getting yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah. The drill sergeants are getting less loud, less crazy, because even like Far said, it's not like it used to be. People are getting upset and offended and dirt, 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 which is fine, but I don't think you should be in the military if you're even worried or considered about those things, because it's preparation for war. Even though we're not in a time of war, the last thing we want to do is have war hit, and then it's like, oh, f now we got to start training people correctly. Oh, that's a f situation. In the span of two years, the U.S. <gasps> Army has completely <gasps> changed its approach to training new recruits. Drill sergeant aren't cussing at soldiers anymore. So if you got to use that language to get somebody to do something, you are not relevant in our army anymore. Shut your mother mouth, you stupid f It is 100% relevant because those types of key words and punches are what get people's attention. And you have to look at it as not a means of yelling at somebody or getting frustrated or mad. It's a way of talking. It's just words that come out and one word can have 30 different meanings, but you get it in every single situation. You understand it via tone and how it's presented. I do think it's very important to actually curse at soldiers. You want to know why? Because being brought up, cursing and all that stuff is bad, right? Yelling is bad. You start to, oh, as a kid, you get you get scolded, right? And you get yelled at and you go, oh my God, I, I'm five minutes. Right? So when that shit happens in basic, you go into this mode of like, oh, you need to have military bearing. So you need to be able to embrace that environment because you're not used to it. You need to be okay and comfortable in it because when war happens, you're able to embrace another environment. When you're teaching and training soldiers in a classroom environment and something they're doing for the first time, yeah, I do believe in, you know, properly articulating these things. But overall, basic should be a crazy, chaotic, not fun and uncomfortable place. If you want everything to be okay, just go back to the civilian sector. Insider visited the United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy in Fort Jackson, South Carolina to see how drill sergeant training has changed to better prepare the army of tomorrow. What you're seeing here are NCOs or non-commissioned officers, right? So that's the rank of sergeant and up. 
not corporal because that's a junior NCO, to become drill sergeants. So they're gonna go through their own little basic training. The first task is they're going to run a certain amount of distance and they're going to get to their first values boards. How many people call themselves good NCOs? They care about their soldiers right now. And then just a disclaimer for all of you who are like, oh, shit, this is hella soft. This is how they train. This is specifically for the Army. So drill sergeants, drill instructors. I've seen clips of how they're doing their shit. I would say it's somewhat similar because the purpose of this is not to make the drill sergeants hardcore. It's for them to understand the aspects of leadership and training and then how they can train up a soldier from civilian to soldier. Are shown a bunker configuration and given 30 seconds to memorize it. They're Isn't this exactly remember, what they did in exactly the other basic the training video? So sergeants, you have one tiny, tiny infraction. So Are go ahead, smoke them? your boards, make your way back to the IHG hotel, figure out, come back and make a correction. Bro, isn't that crazy how, like, if it was in basic, they'd be like, beat your mother face into the ground, bitch. You fed up, stupid ass. You know what, man? After working with y'all for the last, what, couple of freaking minutes, hey, y'all gonna be good leaders. Y'all gonna be good drill sergeants. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't say anything like that. That's a load of fing horse. Let me tell you. <laughs> you know nothing about anybody from the first couple of minutes of chatting with them. I think that's bullshit. You can get a gist of it, but to say that, oh, they're gonna be good leaders. They're probably toxic as f, bro. They're like, I beat the sh out of my soldiers every day. Who do you mean? Punch him right in the fucking forehead. The day one training competition this for new funny infantry soldiers, to, which replaced the more controversial shark attack. The right controversial there, shark attack. Right there. We're breaking a lot of habits from the civilian world, and nothing better than a little shock to the system to yes. establish that that yes. drill sergeant is in charge. Fuck me in the. This is what we should be doing, bro. I remember shark attack, and it was the first time I really was like, holy. F this is basic training. Holy sh. This is crazy. And that's exactly how you should feel because the first time I got shot at, the first time I was deployed and got to a firefight, it was the exact same thing. But instead of me being like, oh, f oh, f the whole time I was able to be like, collect, I was like, okay, where's cover? And you're able to do those things. But if you never experienced that, you're absolutely f Everybody drives different. Everybody does something different, different ways to skin a cat. But here, the purpose of, of what we're doing here at the Academy is to have a standardized way of effectively training trainees to do something. You can't train all soldiers the exact same. Some people don't retain the information the exact same way. I've had my soldiers where it's like, okay, I try and teach them something, put them in a situation to where they need to learn, right? And I'm like, okay, Alpha Team gets it, Bravo Team don't get it, Bravo Team, I gotta pivot how I'm gonna teach these guys. So they learn, understand, and retain that information, which is extremely important. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have ever wanted to be a drill sergeant. A lot of people actually don't wanna be drill sergeants because you actually get forced to do it eventually in your military career. I really wanted to do it. It's just, I would have had to stay on active duty and I was like, all right, I'm getting out. There's, there's other shit I want to do. Of the 2,200 drill sergeant candidates who come through the academy each year, on okay. average, only 35% of them volunteer. Yeah, this is not volunteering, 65% are DA selected, <laughs> which means they were nominated by their superiors. They were selected by the leadership because they're like a good leader. Nah, it's kind of like, hey, we kind of aren't with you here at this unit um you're gonna go be a drill sign and then they're like Fuck! i got a bit emotional because i was like oh um i have three kids first thing coming to oh, your mind is like see that's sad it wasn't my first choice my husband was deployed i was at home with a kid by myself and working full time oh that's so, so i thought it was not I yeah going through basic as a soldier is super difficult but going and being a drill sergeant and like going through the cycles you're there the same amount of times the soldiers are there drill sergeants have to sleep in the barracks half the time with the soldiers they're always out in the field they don't get to see their families that's why in the military people are like oh all these divorces happen because like deployments i'm like no a lot of this happens because they have to go be drill and uh, drill sergeants and they're there all the time with these dudes and it goes in cycles they're doing this for three months then they might get like a month off or like two weeks off and then they're doing it again for another three months while the army has to choose more than half of its future drill sergeants Woo. it can't choose future soldiers and recruitment especially among gen z has been on a steady decline according to <laughs> i a wonder why bro survey, people look at assault harassment abuse ptsd oh, all these things which is Things that people say is happening in our army. Before he fucks this up, these are things that are happening in the army. I don't like the, the way he's pitching it. I know he's just trying to do his job. People look at people look assault. At that happens in the military. That happens abuse. in the military. Assault. That happens. Right. That happens. PTSD, all you all yes. over the next two or three years have an opportunity to change the dynamic. Yeah, the things that are 
physically and truly psychologically hurting people outside of the army's mission. So it's like going to war and fighting, right? The, the worst case scenario. That's what we're targeting. And to do that properly, we have to do our best to try and stop all those bad things, right? But that doesn't mean not calling someone a stupid b They're separate! Thanks. They're starting to do this like blending thing because the civilian sector says it's the same thing and it's not. Stay the f out of it. One of the hardest parts of the training for future oh, don't drill say sergeants don't is say. relearning the basics. Okay, yeah. I would say that's got to be super difficult. For many students, their army jobs don't require daily rifle usage. I am a 68 Delta surgical technician. I'm a medic. And another reason it's even hard for like people who are like infantrymen or in combat arms and the people who do use weapon systems all the time, you have to teach the basics to soldiers. You can't teach the advanced way. Like me when I went into the military, never shot a weapon system before. So you can't teach me this advanced shit. I wouldn't understand it. I, I wouldn't be able to cope. You gotta teach me this, this basic shit down here and then I can like scale up. So they have to like basically lower their standards, go to the basics, relearn it, somebody they can teach it. In week seven, Candidates complete their physical readiness training evaluation. Get it. Uh, get it, Ortega, get it. I will get be it. the PI this morning. Your Having to relearn the PT job, standards, bro, is dumb as The only thing standing between the students and their graduation is a grueling culminating event. A grueling event? First event is the battle march and shoot. Battle march and shoot. It's basically a stress shoot. So they march so uh, stressful, a certain amount bro. of distance, get down into their fighting positions, and they start engaging their targets. Are they missing at 50 yards? 50 meters, sorry. What? <laughs> the targets are so reg registering. No, uh, no, 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 bullshit, bullshit. We don't run it back. The targets are not working. <laughs> to their next task, which is the third one, which is a mass casualty event or mass cow. Other, My leg is and gone, In between those points, how are we going to remain calm and control the situation? Ah. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Bro, that was funny as In the very last event of the culminating training event is the five mile road march. And this is huge because this is the first time that they it's are huge. actually called drill sergeants. We pin oh. the badges on them. No, stop. So it's only fitting that we do a grog ceremony for all of you. The grog ceremony is a tradition that combines an odd mix of liquids, creating one unique punch, or grog, that drill sergeants all toast and drink. The drink of choice is Red Bull. It gave us wings. I have Tapatio to add to the grog. It represents Dickhead. Dick Dickhead. For those of you who don't know, <clears throat> at least for the infantry world, the combat arms world, when you go through basic and complete it, they take you to a nice ceremony spot where all infantrymen have been before. And you drink from the gr the grog, okay? And it's the same type of sh except I legit have no fucking idea what the f is in it. I should call far back and ask him. No, we're gonna leave it a f mystery. Because like beauty, it is a little spicy sometimes. What a fucking dickhead, bro. Oh, you guys wanna hear some f about when we drank from the grog? Everyone's like, oh, it can't be that bad. Bro, we just got done with our final fucking FTX. We line up. It's like nine or 10 o'clock at night. They're like, pull out your canteen cups. One of our dudes had to, I think I told this story when I did the army basic training video. He had to fucking pee, right? And we're like, dude, don't fuck this up. It's the last thing. We just did it. It's almost all over. Just shut the fuck up. He's like, I have to pee. And then we're like, dude, just pee in formation. Pee in the fucking canteen cup. He whips it out. He pees in the, the canteen cup, right? We don't know what the fuck is happening, right? It's the first time doing this. He pees in it. We pass the canteen to the back of the formation. We throw it in the rocks, the piss. We toss it back up to him. We go, and they're like, you will dip your canteens in the grog. He is the first fucking person out of everybody. Out of four fucking platoons. In every platoon, there's 30 people. He was the first fucking person to dip his in the grog. And we're like, oh, this bitch. But you drink it, whatever. So we all got a little bit of pee pee dick. What a bonding experience. It was great. I remember sitting in the back and I'm like, no, uh. I was like, that really just happened. <laughs> it was so funny. Hey. I taste that hot sauce. It is graduation day for 83 new drill sergeants. So we become a highly motivated, well disciplined, physically, mentally fit soldier. Drill sergeants receive their campaign cover and officially begin their tour. God, I wonder who got their shit. This like, he sucks. They see the uniform, they see the hat, they see um, their sons and daughters go off and put on that uniform. Nobody shows up to this ceremony. The only people impressed by this drill sergeant hat are single mothers at basic training when their son graduates. And this dude will fuck your mom. Trust. The army needs you to be a very good leader, drill sergeant. Please take care of our soldiers. Yes.
It was okay. Uh. What do you think softer? <laughs> Basic training or the drill sergeant's academy? Let me do it down below in the comments. Okay, f you, bye.